A YouTuber was recently kidnapped by a gang in Haiti and held a ransom for $600,000. The first thing I thought about when I heard about this was how do you even get yourself into this situation? And well, the way it unfolded was pretty insane, so sit tight while I tell you everything about it. It all started with this dude, who goes by Arab, and he makes some pretty crazy videos on YouTube where he travels to some dangerous places and documents just about everything that happens. He's done some pretty crazy things in the past, like one video where he basically lived with the Mexican cartel for almost a week, or when he snuck into a terrorist hideout cave. So yeah, as you can tell, this dude has put himself into some wild situations, and one day he decided to travel to Haiti, a country in the middle of the Caribbean Ocean that is dubbed one of the most dangerous countries in the world. World. What was he gonna do in one of the most dangerous countries in the world, you ask? Well, he was attempting to interview the country's most dangerous gang leader. This guy is known as Barbecue. Not sure how he got that nickname, but anyways. The most dangerous gang leader in one of the most dangerous countries in the world. Sounds like it's not the brightest or smartest idea in the world, but this guy Arab is a thrill seeker, so he booked a flight. He got to his hotel and made this video. So we actually cannot leave to Port-au-Prince until the morning. All it takes is one stupid gang member holding an AK-47 for one thing to go wrong. So we're not taking that risk at night. We're going to be leaving at 3 in the morning. Which would be the last video he posted before getting captured. Now 24 hours into his trip, everything's still going pretty smoothly, and he's on his way to meet Barbecue. But as he's on his way, someone who was a member of Barbecue's gang kidnaps him. That's when he was taken to a place in the middle of the Haitian desert, 60 minutes away from any civilization. Arab said that in this place in the middle of the desert, he was put in a concrete shack surrounded by barbed wire. Most people who watch Arab's videos had no idea this was going on until one of his close friends tweeted out, tried keeping it private for two weeks, but it's getting out everywhere now. Yes, Arab has been kidnapped in Haiti and we're working on getting him out. Love y'all, he'll be out soon. Now at this time, Arab had apparently already given the gang $40,000 to get out, but they said no and demanded the full 600,000. A video was even posted by Arab's kidnapper where the kidnapper was in the middle and Arab and his translator are beside him. Now Arab seems to be in a good mood in this video, but I think that's just because he's extremely scared as to what's going on. Now, I'm not sure if this video was taken in the concrete shack that Arab was talking about, or if he was brought to a different location for this video. What I do know, though, is that the gang member forced him to change into this horrendous fit. Like, not to be off topic, but who wears jorts that are tight in 2024? This could have been the worst part of the experience or at least the ugliest part. So anyways, things go quiet for a bit until Arab makes his first post since everything went down. And he says this, Cameraman never dies. I've been released. Glory be to God. Christ is king. So he ultimately ended up getting out of this horrible situation, but he said he can't currently give out any more details on how he got out of trouble. So did he get to interview Barbecue? My guess is no, but he's alive, and I'm sure that that's all he cares about right now. Anyways, I'll keep you in the loop on if we learn anything new here. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. That's all. Peace.